high. Right, let's just mute that, refresh that page. Good afternoon, everyone. Right. Slide the chair back. How are we all? How's our afternoon going? Mine's going okay. Had kind of a lazy day. I can say just while Louise is out of the room that uh, she's done all the work today. So, I... oh, and Kasia, of course. So, I... let's just straighten up this little camera of mine. Mine, there we go. All right, as part of the Picture to Page Crafts online craft show today and tomorrow, you can get some fantastic little bargains over at nataliemay.com.au and we have got 15% off of Distress Products, Natalie May Products, Vicky Burton, as well as Paper and Paper Rose. So patterned paper collections, including Christmas. Uh, paper Rose stamps, dies and stencils, Vicky Burton, all of her collections that are currently available online, excluding the events. And then Natalie May products, so stamps and stencils and collage papers. And Tim Holtz distress products such as distress inks and distress oxides. Uh, quite a few little products there for you to peruse. Um, Scrap Effects products, as we are running those out of stock, they are currently 30% off, so you can certainly get quite a few bargains in there. So we today have already done a couple of little live Facebooks. I've done a couple for you. We did one this morning over at the uh, Picture to Page Facebook page, so you can scroll on back. We've actually posted the link if you keep on scrolling through our Facebook page, um, and we will send that link out tonight um, and we have also I did a little art journal page earlier on today where is that gone here we go hey Kasia can you come in here with your super long arms and turn on my overhead light please that I forgot to do <laughs> there's a little um, switch around the front get your look at that Kasia height that one there hey, hey. Perfect. So in the last live Facebook, we did this page here, which is using Miriam, which is our collage paper. And we are, uh, and in my little DIY journal. So our little DIY journal, are these little guys here that we have available, I think they're currently, or oh, I'm going to say $13.95, $14.95. This is the finished product of the one that I put together and created in the video this morning and you bind it together as you can see here on the inside um, but if you go back and watch that video all of those little tips and tricks are there on how to do that. Uh, a couple of weeks ago you saw me put together this one here using patterned paper and rub-ons. So everything that you can see here in black are the Simple Stories rub-ons that we had available and this is a 49 and market little rub-on in here. And the inside I covered with patterned paper and a washi tape. So it's a great little DIY project. This is the one here that I put together at uh, our retreat earlier this year and we did it as a class. And what you can do, of course, is make your own little journal pages, which is what I'm doing today. So here's a couple of journal pages I've done here. And today I'm going to do a, another journal page. Oh, look, see, I've got some paint on it. Can't be too precious about it. I'm going to do a journal page using our Spring Girls collage paper. And I'm drinking my coffee at the same time. I apologise. I've been trying to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this paper across the back. So I'm doing a soft water tear so that I don't end up with a perfectly straight line. And it just tears the paper on that wet water line that we love. And I'm just doing it on the back here so that you can see. 
and I'm going down through here. So I want to incorporate this image into my page. Wonderful, and then I will do this one here. So tearing it just takes away any sharp lines. I think it just looks a little bit softer. So for those of you just joining me for the first time, today as part of the Picture and Page show, what we do is we've got a couple of fantastic specials today and tomorrow. And we won't be posting the orders out until Monday, Tuesday. So if you want to add to your order, you certainly can. So if you pop more than one order in over the weekend, uh, we are very grateful for that. But you just need to pay a small $11.95 flat rate postage. And then if you decide to pop in another order, what we do there is we've added a little a little thing in our shipping section and you can choose, choose no judgment postage. So you can add on to your order and we will pick it for you and put it aside for the very low cost of $1.95. Now, postage is not free and that's very important because we don't want to have to send out any awkward emails to say, oh, guess what guys, postage is not free. So uh, that option is there for you if you feel the need to do a second order. Okay, I'm just grabbing a paintbrush here and I wanna use some gel medium to stick down this image. So exactly the same as I have done before. So of course, collage paper is a really soft, not quite a tissue paper, it's a little bit nicer than a tissue paper, um, but it is a really soft, lovely paper that you can use. So I want to pop her straight down on the very, very bottom of the page. So I'm going to go straight across here. And you never, very, very rarely, I won't say never, you very, very rarely put your collage paper straight, sorry, your gel medium straight onto your collage paper because you make it really, really hard to use. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to go through and I'm going to put the gel medium down onto my page. Now, this is the paper that comes with the DIY journals. It is a heavy weight white cardstock. It's about a 300 GSM. It is a very nice weight for a page in your journal. So you can see that I'm putting the, putting the gel medium down and then brushing over the top just to push out any lumps and bumps and I'm also sealing this paper. Making sure I get a really lovely adhesion. How's everybody's afternoon going in their part of the world? Fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you, Kasha. Kasha yells from the other room next to me. It's very quiet on the Kasha front today. She's had a little dental work, so she's she's drugged up to the eyeballs and uh, and very very quiet. So you will see Kasha in the background doing our Facebook posts. Apologies for any spelling mistakes. Apologies for the spelling mistakes. That would be the drugs kicking in. All right. So just like I've done previously, I'm just going to use two fingers to lightly polish out any lumps and bumps. Push out any extra lumps underneath if I put the gel medium in too thick. And just polishing out these terrible little creases that I managed to get in here. And that's looking pretty good. And I'm just wiping my fingers onto the paper towel to take off any excess. Why is that guy choosing to whip a snipper out there now? What's, doesn't he know that I'm doing a live Facebook? How rude. Oh, the rains are here, Marge. Does yeah, he want to... He's, in. he's out of there? 30 seconds. Fantastic. All right. So there we go. We are stuck down there with our collage paper. 
Hello, Susan. All right, so there we go. So that is stuck down, ready to go, and I'm just going to quickly dry it off using my heat tool, which is right here. So these collage papers you will get at 15% off for today and tomorrow only on nataliemay.com.au. The, uh, the website special is online, like I've said, um, and we will look forward to posting your orders out on Monday, Tuesday. Great. Okay. Let's talk about what I'm going to do in the background. So these colours in the background are beautiful. Really, really nice. Let me get that coffee out of the way. That's nice. And the colours that I can see here, let's have a think about that. I'm going to go with Paper Artsy Electric Violet. I'm going to go with Paper Artsy Purple Majesty. I'm going to go with Paper Artsy Bougainvillea. I can see some blue in here as well, and there's a little bit of darkness in, in some of these colours. So I've still got the Dina Wakely Night just off camera here. I'm going to use that. Uh, and we've, we've got a bit of a brighter... It's almost, it's almost a bit periwinkle blue. So I'm going to have a little bit of a play with these colours. So rather than putting them straight onto my page, of course, I'm going to do a little splodge off to the side. So I have been loving, since Tracy Scott was here doing classes with us a couple of weeks ago, um, Tracy Scott, of course, the designer for Paper Artsy, um, we, I've been loving having a play with these paints. I'm really enjoying how easy they are to use, how you can stamp beautifully over the top of them. Some of them are transparent, some of them are more opaque, and I really, really like that. So I think that, ooh, that's nice. I think that um, playing with your paints and getting out some different brands and using them together is a really important thing to do. So what I do love about these is they have a really great matte finish to them as well. All right, next thing I'm going to do, got a bit of a butterfly going on here, and I do have some 49er market butterflies that I might add, but I might work on this background a bit first. All right, let's start and just pop some paint down. So rather than dipping my brush straight into the middle of the paint, I'm going to pull a bit off the side and build up from here. And I'm gonna slowly mix some of these colors together, use a combination of my finger and the brush. And I feel like it might need a little bit of a lighter pink in here too. But I'm just going to start creating my own background here. So my own background using these colours, allowing them to mix together. Blending in slowly. And because I've chosen colours that are all from the same colour family, they are all on that side, on the same side of the colour wheel, they are all going to mix together really, really nicely. So we're kind of creating her hair here. So I don't mind taking a bit of a, a bit of creative license here and drawing a bit of a line there where her hair kind of goes. Now this little butterfly here, I'm going to stick a, a paper butterfly over the top. So I will also be adding some stenciling. So the, although the colour is very similar to the background here, I'm just going to lightly blend that down over the top. I'm going to keep that pink circle there. And 
and work my way across the page. So going in with the colour that's closest to what I can see here. Now I'm just going to grab some paper towel. And do a bit of that. Just a little feathering, bring in a bit of blue. Making new colours, creating and building on the colours that are already here. Pushing that into there, we've got a little bit of this blue going in here too. And you can see that I'm kind of doing this feathered sort of look to push those colours into our little area there. Alright, up into here. But it's all about choosing colours that you know are going to work nicely together. So if I just threw a green in there, it's just going to look ridiculous, isn't it? So sticking with those same colour families is really, really important. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to get some of that purple in there. And working quickly before the paint dries is also another thing that's working really well for me here. So I'm being quite decisive about choosing the colours because and, and getting the paint on so that I'm not left with too many strokes and, and lumps and bumps. If I do have them, I know that I can get back in there and cover them up with a stencil. Um, I'm not that precious about doing something like that, but, yes I am, who am I kidding, I hate it when that happens, right, missed a whole bit there, yeah, sorry, I'm just, I'm not reading the comments, I'm, I'm up to my ears in paint here, but, um, sliding your paint across into into the paint. So the lovely Naomi's just commented. For those of you who noticed a little bit earlier today, Naomi is our I might take that up there. Our, the la our, our another one of our guest teachers. So we are super thrilled to have Naomi on board teaching uh, art journal class online with Natalie May scrapbooking. So super thrilled. Uh, if you haven't done an online class before, they are fun, they are easy, and the best thing is, is you can work at your own pace with your own supplies at home. We give you a list of what we are using, but it is completely up to you on what you want to do with the, with the supplies. Um, we have a kit that we are sending out for Naomi's class and Claire's class, which is very, very awesome. Uh, so the girls have got some fantastic things. So we're currently working on those kits, so they won't be sent out for a couple of weeks, um, well and truly before the class. But it is an excellent way to try the styles of new teachers, learn some new tips and techniques, try something a little bit new, and add a different page to your art journal. 
Um, you have lifetime access to these classes as well, which is excellent value for money. So Claire's class is only $33.95 and Naomi's class is $29.95. Um, and the, yeah, you get lifetime access. So you can go back and watch it whenever you want. So that is fabulous for you guys. So very, very happy that um, we have Naomi and Claire teaching for us. And then tomorrow we have one more guest teacher being announced. So very happy about that. All right, so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just using a little bit of watered down paint to take this here a little bit of a light wash. So where that blue is is nice, but I just felt the need to kind of make it a little bit more purpley. If purpley is a colour. All right, so there we go. We've, we've built that into our page a bit. And now I want to work on our, might add some stamping. Oh no, some stenciling up here. What have we got here? Oh, the phone's going, there's people in the shop, it's all happening. Hey, Kasha. Yeah. Do you just want to pop out and see if Louise needs a hand? I did see people walking past the window coming into shop, which is great, seeing we're closed. Um, <laughs> and I just heard the phone ring. Thanks, babes. Um, all right, so I just want to add some bits and pieces up here. This is a Vicky Booten stencil. Vicky Booten does some fabulous stencils uh, and they are available on our website, usually in a pack of three, which is excellent value for money. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna use this nice oh, Bougainvillea and I'm just gonna add a little bit of stenciling. So the Vicky Booten stencils are fabulous. So there's, I think, four or five different ones that we have available at the moment uh, on our website. And to get three, three stencils for one price is excellent. So I'm just going to get in a little bit. Can you see that pattern come up there? Love that. So I'm just going to blend that in a bit. All good? Fabulous. All fabulous. So these are the Vicky Booten stencils. Kasha just whispered that she loves this stencil. So I'm gonna do that one. And then I've got some little love hearts here. I get those two stencils in my class. There you go. Kasha's currently doing, a, or is about to do, is that a September or an August card? Yeah, one. The card class for this month, here in the studio on a Wednesday, you get this stencil in a kit. That's a bit of a bargain. So if you are in Radelaide and you want to come and do a, a card class with Tasha, you can. Uh, she's doing a Wednesday class and a Saturday class. The Wednesday classes book out very, very quickly. So you could certainly do that. All right, so I'm just adding a bit more unnecessary stenciling. So you book online with now on nataliemay.com.au for those classes. All right, so just add a little bit of texture in stenciling in the background right there. Okay, coming together. I feel the need for a bit of depth in here. Oh, I really want to go black. No, no, Natalie, I'm gonna go white. So I don't have any white paint handy, but I have a very large bottle of white gesso. And I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush. Hello, Alison. Sorry that I missed you, darling. She came in and picked up in her order. Right, so this time I'm just gonna go in here and create a bit of a line.
around this butterfly. And like I said, I do have some other little butterflies that I'm going to incorporate into the page in a moment. So I'm just going to pop some white over here and get rid of some of that. And I'm going to put another butterfly over the top here. There we go. Um, so using white gesso as a white paint can definitely work, and it's working for me today. Um, like I said, because I didn't have, I don't have white paint under my nose. I'm only using what's in front of me. And I'm just going to turn it upside down and get in there. So taking a collage paper and turning it into your own is not at all difficult. Thank you, Naomi, for adding in those links for that stencil. That is awesome. So that stencil is 15% off and it will be automatically discounted at your checkout. So make sure that you check um, $11.95 for your postage um, or uh, $14.95 for express post. Um, and if you place another, a second order or a third order or a fifth order or whatever you choose to do, you can choose no judgment after that. But just take a moment to check your postage before you hit that go button. Because that saves me having to ring on Monday to say, hello, Naomi, you forgot to pay for your postage. That would be very helpful for us. All right. So I'm just taking these bits here that were dark and making them disappear a bit into the background. So in a minute when I add my butterflies. So speaking of butterflies, this is the butterfly stencil from, it's not Sweet Rush, so, oh, it could be Sweet Rush. Where's my little link ninja? Who's helping me out with the links? So I can add a few of these little butterflies around the place. Um, or I might use a paint pen and do some more of these little squiggles. What do we think? Oh, definitely the squiggles. Okay. So let's have a look at our packet while that paint's drying. Let's have a look at our packet of Gardenia Butterfly Laser Cut. Um, these are from a couple of collections ago from 49er Market and these are beautiful. So excellent value for money. 49er Market do some fabulous things with, uh, with their collections. Uh, you've seen me use these cutouts before. A couple of weeks ago I did a uh, scrapbook layout using the leaves and bits and pieces. So... This is a, this has got 89 assorted butterflies in the pack. Now, I don't know if there's something that, you know, that doesn't need a butterfly, but I'll tell you what. Oh, and you get bonus bits here as well. So that's excellent. Um, so I'm looking for purple and pink butterflies here. So this is what the pack looks like. You get a 12 by 12 or a bit bigger than, a bit smaller than 12 by 12. Um, page here that you've just got all of these little punch outs in so we've got some pink some red orange yellow we've got a quite a range of butterflies so I'm going to take this guy here and they just punch right out so no fussy cutting required definitely something that you need in your life so I'm going to go for pinks one two three and I'm feeling the need to go for pinks that are about that size. I don't hate that one. I might just pop him out. And then I'm going to go with a purples and blues. Too big? Maybe. Out. How beautiful are they? 
an excellent value for money as well. So these are the Spectrum Gardenia Butterflies. And uh, we have got a ton of these on the shelf. So if you, if you are a butterfly person, and I know that you're out there, I know there's quite a few of you out there. I know who you are. I'll come back to those and see if there's any more. Radio. So she's looking okay. Just gonna find my heat gun again. Dry off this gesso so I don't put my hand in it. Thank you, Naomi. If you have a look at the comments, Naomi's just popped the link in there for those butterflies. Okay. Just pulling out some pink paint pens and some white paint pens and just a black ballpoint pen. And let's have a look at making some marks on here. Is this going to enable me to draw some of these circles? Do I want to do that? That is the question. See, look at me overthinking this now. I can't decide, so I'm going to come back to the butterflies. Ooh. So for those of you watching my live Facebook for the first time, I generally come in with no plan. And that is quite evident, especially today. I'm more about creating on the fly. Creating as I go, creating something that is unplanned. So I I'm just gonna fill her hair full of butterflies. What do we think? Purple, purple, purple. Another little pink one here. Another little blue one up here. All right. Yes, okay, now I'm getting somewhere. This is working quite well. So again, it's just about creating an art journal page that isn't necessarily complicated, wrong pink, um, complicated and technical. It's more about creating something beautiful and pretty and something that you love the look of. I felt the need to just put a bit of purple on this butterfly. He's a little flat. Um, and because they're paper, there's no reason why you can't do that. Um, I think he's more of a moth, actually. But art journaling is about creating something for yourself, not for impressing everybody else. Um, and I'm a diehard firm believer in that. So this little guy here that is completely disappearing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it right there. So it's sitting on her shoulder. And I'm just going to commit to it. I'm just going to stick it down. So what I've got is the Art Glitter Dries Clear Adhesive Glue um, with one of our fantastic stands. These are our glue stands, apparently available online. And I'm just going to stick down the body. And pop it into position. Journal, it won't matter if I've got a bit of lift behind my butterfly wings. Oh, look, I have to apologize, guys. Usually at about three o'clock, Kasha, are you watching my video? Yeah, is it completely frozen at your end? <laughs> Maybe you want your hotspot. 
because the three o'clock internet slows have kicked in. Have I got a blur? Oh, so it's just my computer? Love that for me. All right, so totally sorry about that, guys. If you have got a little bit of a delay, um, that would be because for some reason here we get the three o'clock. I don't know. Well, the kids get home from school and suddenly the internet dies in the ass. Sorry, I shouldn't swear, but that's exactly what happens. Um, right, so you see what I am doing here. When you go back and watch this, it won't be so frozen, hopefully. And I'm actually focusing on popping some butterflies in the areas where that I want covered up as well. So I'm, I'm shadowing, you know, taking the focus away and shadowing those areas so that they disappear. I'm not putting any here because that's my, my fold. Yeah, sorry about the glitching. Like I said, it's that all the teenagers that get home on a Friday and obviously start gaming or whatever geeky things that they do. I don't know. Children. If only we had the power to control technology. Uh, this guy here, I feel like he needs a little bit of an outline. Um, he's a little bit lighter than all the rest. So I'm just using a black pen to give him a bit of personality. And I'm making, I've made the decision that it's a him sitting on her shoulder. Don't know why. Okay. But I like it. We're on the right track here. It's a nice little page so far. Uh, does it need any stamping at all? Probably not. Am I going to do it anyway? Probably. Let's have a look. So this is my Don't Overthink stamp set. Um, you know what? That I should have taken that advice 20 minutes ago. Uh, and I just want to add a little bit up the top here. In the middle here. A little bit of interest. A little bit of what has she done there, as we like to call it. And it kind of just disappears into the background. But what I like about choosing this stamp is the fact that it has the circles on it which tie in with the circles here. So I haven't totally randomly added a stamp. It does have a little bit of thought behind it. Okay, just one of the stamps. And my stamps are red rubber stamps and it's completely an organic sort of look. Um, right, coming together now, I just want to add a few little spots. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to. I'm tempted to put something on here, but in the life of colour pens, but I'm not going to. Okay, outline. Now, let's think of a witty comment. Something clever and witty. So with the Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers, I did bring out some new ones last week or a couple of weeks ago. We brought out some sweary ones and a couple of new girl designs uh, and some very cool eyes. So I could do something a little bit smart and do some... witty comments but I'm a bit unsure so hang on a minute. Okay she has a border. I now feel the need to oh I'm glitching again. Creating a new hairline for her.
When you pull out one baby wipe and you get six, is that not the most annoying thing in the world? Okay. Just had a little furphy there with my black pen. It went in a bit darker than I wanted. And that's okay. All right. Just need to add a title and I'm done. What's that gonna be? Let's let's go with Art begins with a vision, but you need to look around to find it. All right, I'm going to bring that up to camera to show you. Let's have a look at some of these details. So there's my little quote. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but I just made that up. And there we go. So we've used that collage paper. We have added paint to the top with some stenciling, added some butterflies. I haven't had added anything to her face. It did not need it. Um, and I have incorporated it into my page and made that work. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It's quite a simple project that hasn't taken too long to do with not a whole lot of fancy technique. And that's super important. We are just nailing it on, on our choosing the right image that we can then build on and work with. All right, so it doesn't have to be all fancy. In fact, I'm going to stick down the wings of all of those butterflies so that when they close, when the wings close, they don't catch on each other. How you going, Lou? Oh, living the dream. <laughs> so did any of you guys win the um, Powerball last night? Because it wasn't us. Yeah, because we had so many plans. We had plans. We had big plans, guys. <sighs> I know. And then it was just sad. And then it was sad. Now there's no plans. It didn't come to fruition. It did not come to fruition at all. All right, she's stuck down. Look what I made. Oh, it's pretty. Thanks, I use butterflies. Hmm. I oh, use yeah, lots of butterflies. Right, oh, my screen's frozen up again. Is it frozen up there? With your tall neck, can you see it on my phone? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> no, not frozen. Put your hand in. No, no, oh, there you go. All right, I'm going to get off and stop waffling on here. Please jump online to nataliemay.com.au and take advantage of some of these fantastic specials that we've got running through today and tomorrow. Vicky Booten products, which are the stencils that we've used today. The Natalie May scrapbooking products, which is the uh, collage paper and the stamps that I've used today. Pa paper is 15% off, paper rose products are 15% off, and scrap effects products are 15% off. Have a wonderful evening. I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning for a coffee and a chat. I'll just be a little impromptu just to make your day, and I look forward to seeing you then.